ओके सॉलिड स्टेट केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट वन दैट इज रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन रेडियस रेशियो क्वेश्चन नंबर शेप क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज रेडियस रेशियो इफ दैट शुड बी लेस देन जीरो पॉइंट टू टू फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर डेफिनेटली टू और थ्री एंड ड्यू टू टू वी गेट शेप लिनियर ड्यू टू थ्री वी गेट शेप ट्राई एंगुलर क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर सिमिलर लिनियर और ट्राई एंगुलर एग्जाम्पल बी टू और थ्री Then radius ratio if zero point two two five to zero point four one four question number that should be four, okay? Shape tetrahedral and crystal ring that given S type spherulite structure. Example CuCl, CuBr, Hg, so on. Then radius ratio less than zero point four one four to zero point seven three two question number. Either four or six. For four we get square planar. For six we get octahedral. Okay, crystal structure, NaCl type. An example: MgO, NaBr, cadmium S, uh, CO, HCl. Now we get area ratio zero point seven three two or more. Question number for this we get eight. Shape cubes and crystal structure cesium chloride type. Example: cesium iodide, cesium bromide, NH four Br, so on. Ionic crystals are may be basically two types. One is AB type, other is AB two or A two B type. Okay. Now we consider structure ionic crystal. If NaCl like structure, rock salt structure type, and cation occupy all octahedral voids, and an occupy FCC unit cell, and position number six is to six. Cesium chloride structure. Cation occupy body center, and an occupy simple cubic unit cell. Question number eight is to eight. Jaden is spherulite structure type. Cation occupy alternate tetrahedral voids, and an occupy FCC unit cell. And question number four is to four. CF two fluoride type structure. That is alternate body center occupied by cation, and and an occupy simple cubic unit cell. Question number eight is to four. In a two anti-fluoride structure, cation occupy all tetrahedral sites, and an occupy FCC unit cell. Position number four is to six. Four is to eight. The irregularity or deviation from ideal arrangement in the entire rows of lattice point. That is row. That means line. That is called line defect. Irregularity or deviation from ideal arrangement in the entire rows of lattice point. That is called line defect. And e point defect. That is uh, that is point defect due to some point. Point defects are the irregularity or deviation from ideal arrangement around a point or an atom in a crystal. Due to point means due to atom, there should be some deviation. That's why it is called point defect. Next one, point defect can be divided, can be classified as stoichiometric defect. There should be the ratio of cation and iron that should be constant. Impurity defect, there should be replacement of stoichiometry two plus that is excess or uh, ex uh, that is. There must be some due to impurity defect can be occur that is called impurity defect and non stoichiometry defect that should be the cation anion ratio not same okay stoichiometry defect is also called intensity or thermodynamic defect okay in non ionic solid we uh, we see that is vacancy defect or interstitial defect okay due to some vacancy see vacancy defect due to some interstitial deviation we uh, we see the interstitial defect. Now we consider first what is impurity defect. Okay, impurity defect. As for example, if there must be two Na plus is there, Na plus, Na plus there, and there should be heat. We use two Na plus that should be uh, uh, evolved. Then we uh, see that is heated with strontium chloride. We see that is one. Place occupied by strontium two plus as charge neutralized, the other place remain vacant. That is called impurity defect. Okay, impurity defect. Okay, next one non stoichiometry defect, metal excess defect due to anionic vacancy. Okay, a metal deviation due to cation vacancy. Okay. Next to ins ionic solid, as for example in a CL-like structure, there should be Schottky defect and Penkel defect. 
two type of defect can be seen. Okay. Now the difference between Schottky defect and Fankel defect. Schottky defect that is due to equal number of cation anion that should be missing from the lattice site. As equal number of cation anion missing, so their density that should be decreased. Okay. And Fankel defect due to dislocation of ions usually cations from the lattice site to occupy the interstitial site. Actually there is no missing of ions but some ions that should be dislocated from their sites. Okay, So they are still in their lattice. That means the overall cations and ions are remain same but they are dislocated. So that's why density remain constant. There must be most probably cations are dislocated in Fankel defect. Okay. Now we consider where found. Schottky defect found in highly ionic compounds with high quotient number, as for example NaCl, cesium chloride, and Fankel defect that is found in crystal structure where the difference in the size of cations and ions are very large, as for HCl and Zn is. Both of the cases we see the cation and ion size are defines are huge. Okay. But there should be some excision, AGBR, that must be undergo both of Fenkel defect, both of Schottky defect. Okay. okay. Now we consider non stoichiometric defect, means cation anion ratio are not same. First one, metal excess defect due to anionic vacancy. That is, ZNO when heating, we get ZN2 plus half O2 to electron. We can be fully explain this. That is Zn2 plus 10 Zn2 plus initially and plus 10 O2 minus. Okay. After that, we get 11 Zn2 plus plus 10 O2 minus plus 2 electron. There must be cation 10 to 11 cation the amount of cation increases but still anion are fixed so the for charge neutralization use two electron but the the space of one anion that should be still vacant that's why by this way we get this type of vacancy okay metal excess defect due to anionic vacancy Next one, metal deficiency defect due to cationic vacancy also. Now we get, uh, that is in defined conductivity, we get three defined types. First one, conductor, they can conduct electricity. Their value is too large in a home inverse meter inverse, that's with 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 7, very high. And because of due to motion of electrons. And metals like Ag and AT, uh, Ag are the examples okay you okay insulator they cannot carry any electricity so their value should be low very low 10 to the power minus 20 to 10 to the power minus 10 very low so do not permit electricity to pass as for example wood rubber bakelite okay last one semiconductor that should be intermediate of conductor and in insulator the value is moderate 10 to the power minus 8 to 10 to the power 4 moderate that should be reason is motion of interstitial electrons or holes or both. Okay, example are silicon and germinal etc. There must be some properties. That is my first one, the electricity produced on heating a polar crystal. That is called pyroelectricity. Okay, polar crystal that should be heating. We get some electricity production that is called pyroelectricity. And when mechanical stress is applied on polar crystal, electricity produced due to displacement of ions that is called PGU electricity. Intensive semiconductor are called as termed as silicon and germanium. And extensive are basically two types, N type and geo, uh, P type. N type are silicon or germanium doped with 15 group elements, means nitrogen group, which are we can say they are electron dense. Okay. P type silicon or germanium doped with 13 group, that is boron group, that is which are electron deficient. How we can memorize? We can memorize that is P for proton, as for example, we can assume P for proton that must be electropositive that should be correspond to that is 
silicon or germanium dropped to it 13 group that is electron deficient group which are more positive group okay and in time that should opposite so, so silicon or germanium dropped to it 15 group electron dense group okay by this way we can memorize okay paramagnetic substance by their magnetism we can uh, divide so many categories first one paramagnetic substance that should be attracted by the magnetic field and have unpaired electron that is if we consider all of these having unpaired electron and they should be attracted by magnetic field, are termed as paramagnetic substance now we consider diamagnetic substance weakly repelled by the magnetic field they never attracted by the magnetic field even they weakly repel by the magnetic field and do not have any unpaired electron. Example, the IO2, V2O5, C6, A6 and NAC like structure. Ferromagnetic substance attracted by the magnetic field and show permanent magnetism that if we remove magnet, after this it also act as, after this it also act their magnetism. Okay. If we emit mag uh, magnetic field or magnet it's still capable to show their magnetism as for example ap cobalt chromium o3 and nickel antiferromagnetic substance net magnetic moment zero due to compensant alignment of the magnetic moment as for example manganese mno mno2 apo and nickel o that is that's why most are oxide last one Ferrimagnetic substance substances have a net dipole moment due to unequal parallel and antiparallel alignment. There must be unequal parallel and antiparallel alignment. That's why net dipole moment is not be zero. Okay, so uh, for this net dipole moment, it also act as some magnetic characteristic. So we can say substances have a net dipole moment due to unequal parallel and antiparallel alignment of magnetic moment examples are ap3o4 ferrosulfuric i think ferrosulfuric oxide and ferrite M m2 plus ap2o4 structure that is ferrite the structure is m2 plus ap2o4 structure and where metal belongs to magnesium copper and zinc that should be termed as ferrite okay okay 